are we still like uh, business partners outside of the VU and stuff? Like we were saying before, like uh, the Sir Burgress thing, or is it uh, you're just uh, on your own? No, I'm listen, I'm not on my own. Um, I think what I need to do right now is I need to figure out what exactly is the next plan. Um, like, am I going to try to take over the job center? Okay, so like what, what do I do there? Like how, like Lang was asking me, how could it work, right? You have an idea, you wow. know it can help the city, but like give me the details of it. And I haven't hashed that out yet because I told them that I didn't even know if it was possible. And I know the city, when you want something, a lot of times you're told to fuck off because it's not possible right now or whatever. So It's like saying you'll still be friends um, after a breakup. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, my thing is, is I want to help the people of the city in some way, shape, or form. And I think the idea is out there. I'm down to work with you on stuff. Um, he did ask me. He said, because uh, when I threw your names in, I threw your name, Shelly's name, you, Larry's I name. I told you it wasn't a good idea to throw my name in there. But it doesn't matter if it's a good idea or not. Okay. I mean, I'm going to throw your name in, right? Because you're my friend. And I called you a pillar of the city. Oh, yeah? What do you say to that? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, um, okay, I'll just tell you. So I said your names and he said, uh, are you sure? Because I gave them a lot of chances and they, uh, throw away their chances. Like how? He didn't give a single example? Um, he named a lot of examples. Like what? Like what? But, okay, I know this sounds like I'm lying, but I'm not. I just forgot. I don't remember what he said. I can guess one, and then maybe it'll refresh the rest of your memory. Uh, oh, I gave him a gas station, and he turned it into a gang compound. Oh, yeah, he did say that. He did say yeah, that. Yeah, of course he, he said that fucking bullshit. Okay, did he say anything else? Um, I'm trying to refresh my memory. I'm, I know I sound weird, but, um, he did say that. And yeah, I don't remember what else, but, and then he, but, 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 but to be fair, he said things about Shelly, you know, too, you know? Oh yeah. But, yeah. Um, I got categorized with fucking Shelly Smith. That makes me feel no, a lot better, he, Cassie. No, no, no. I got, got categorized because, by no, the no, person that's been, put, that's been put into Knox, so fucking Parsons like eight city, times. Okay. Thank fuck I'm categorized with Shelly Smith, the, the, the crazy lady. Thank fuck, thank fuck, thank you, Cassie. He did call her batshit crazy. She is batshit crazy. Said, but I said that you guys all have heart, you know, in the city. And I think, I think you specifically, I think you just, I think you get really discouraged because, um, you know, you have a lot of doors closed in your face. And, and I know you have heart more than anybody I know. And that's why I named <sighs> you along with Shelly, right? Because Shelly, I said, she's a... Uh, She's somebody who, regardless of being crazy, really cares about her business and has stuck with it for how long now? <clears throat> but apparently a lot of people do that, so I don't know. Do you, do you know what the story behind uh, the whole compound thing? Um, no, I mean, I'll be Can I tell you real quick? Can I tell you the story? I explained this to Buddha already. He knows the story. I sat down with him and, and told him this story. <clears throat> Let me tell you real quick, okay? And then we'll just move on. So you get context, because that's not, that's not what I did, okay? What happened was, you know, the gas station got approved, construction got approved, everything's good to go, you know? The, the days are bright, I wake up, a uh, beautiful day in the morning, okay? <clears throat> I hire a construction team, and those guys, they're like, yo, it's going to cost this, this, that, the fourth. Okay, perfect, let's run it up. And complications came up, and I had beef with these fuckers, and you know... The, the construction team, we parted ways with them, to say the least. Okay? Yeah, I remember. So, um, the city, the state, was nice enough to uh, provide their own construction team, and it was funded by them. Perfect. Okay? So, I lay out uh, the plans yes. with this construction team, and what I wanted was, this is what I asked for, I said I want Xmart, and that I want a garage. Okay. And what I got okay. was, they said, okay, we can, uh, we can give you the garage now, because it's easiest. 
and we can change up your whole uh, gas station, like apartments and all this and all this and all that. And then the, ex the gas station will come last. And I'm like, well, can we do the gas station first? They say, no, it's easier this way because the gas station's the hardest. It'll be the most complex. Uh, we got to, you know, fill all the tiles up in a certain pad, whatever, whatever. You know, they, they have to do their thing. They have to take their time with the gas station. I said, okay, fair enough. <clears throat> the garage, the garage construction gets finished. The, the compound gets finished. And then when it came to the gas station, everything went silent and I never got it. And Lang says that I used my construction funds all for the gas station compound and for the garage and nothing else. That's all I was looking for. But it, it was the opposite I was looking for. But it is what it is. I'm not going to fucking shit on a construction team for doing some work and then not, not being able to finish the rest because other things they have to work on. That's not, that's nobody's fault. That's nobody's fault. But mm -hmm. it's not fair that I get blamed for that. It's just not. I mean, it's not. Um, I'll be real with you, Marty. If there's something I could do to to patch things with you guys, um, <clears throat> I would in a heartbeat. Other than make that phone call right now, because uh, <clears throat> he was a little uh, a little scary at that meeting. Wait, but I maybe patch things I with will. who? Me and me and Lang Buddha. Yeah. It doesn't. I I I warned you about this, you know. Yeah, but you know me. I try to see. The 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 potential the the good outcome not the bad did it seem possible when you talked to him and he talked about me um i don't think it's impossible okay the story but... the story i explained to you <clears throat> about the construction is that my fault no. Is it fair for Lang Buddha to still say that it's my fault, even though I explained him that exact story and he heard every sentence? No, it's not. So, do you think that there's a chance that this business relationship, personal relationship, whatever the fuck it is, will ever repair? No, it won't. That's okay. I just, um... I just feel bad. I feel bad for you, Marty. <laughs> I feel like I've seen it happen with you so many times where you get excited about something and then the door shuts in your face. Um, so. It's okay. I've learned something very valuable from all of it, right? If you go what? into everything with zero expectations, you can never be disappointed. Hmm? Yeah. But oh. Remember the other thing we said? What? That you have to keep buying lottery tickets or you'll never win the lottery? Yeah, but exactly. And I'm going to keep buying those lottery tickets, but I'm not going to wake up in the morning and hope that I won. Does that make sense? Okay, how about this? Okay, how about this? Um, I go out there... Maybe I accomplish something cool. Maybe, right? Maybe. Maybe I do get the job center. Maybe I do come up with a cool plan or whatever, whatever, right? Would you um, be interested in, like, helping in some way? Obviously, I don't have, like, a, a thing, like a, like, a, like a position or plan, right? But I think you shouldn't feel like the doors are all closed yet, you know? I know that maybe you guys, you and Buddha will never be like super close again. And I know he, he does seem a little stubborn. He seems a little pessimistic sometimes. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm a hundred percent down, right? Like you stepping down from CEO, that's okay. I just, uh, I'm more concerned about like, like, I don't want to intrude by any means. Right? And, I, and it better not be a fucking pity invite. I don't want to intrude any mean, by any means, but I was most excited by far when you said that like we would be like working together on a bunch of business things and like like ha having things change within the city. That's what I care about. I don't care about you being fucking CEO. I, I don't care. 